Deep Seven Press was formed in 1999 by husband-wife team Todd and Samantha Downing and partner Ron Dugdale. Ron and Todd co-owned a game and hobby store in Seattle in the early 1990s and wanted to bring some of their house gaming concepts to the marketplace. Aiming at casual gamers and former core gamers with busy schedules, the company's first products were the 1PG line of beer and pretzel role-playing games based on familiar movie and television genres. They were inexpensive, downloadable, and disposable. The rules to play fit on one page, hence the name, as did each scenario, which could be played in a single two to three hour session. Some reviewers didn't know what to do with them, but many in the target demographic were delighted. The XPG system was developed concurrently as an expansion of the core 1PG design, but more robust and able to support character longevity and campaign style play. In 2000, Deep Seven published author Bill Katepi's Santa's Soldiers game, which had its own D20-based system and shipped in a magazine polybag with a cover that doubled as a game screen. They also released Snake Oil, a downloadable card game which had proved popular at gaming conventions. In late 2001, Deep Seven's flagship fantasy property, Aeroflight, was released amid the wave of Dungeons & Dragons 3.0 popularity, managing to secure its own small but dedicated following. Aeroflight was published under the Deep System imprint, which was actually the XPG system with some extra bits. While Aeroflight settled into a very crowded fantasy marketplace, the company continued to produce both 1PG and XPG titles, including John Sullivan's expanded version of the pirate game Blood Island, Mark Bruno's Mean Streets film noir RPG, and a second edition of Santa Soldiers with the XPG system. As the 1PG line grew, James Stubbs came aboard as the 1PG line producer, giving the games a much needed third edition and support content. Ron left the company in 2002, but not before securing the licensing rights to the BBC science fiction sitcom Red Dwarf, which Todd had always wanted to make into a role-playing setting since the game store days. Red Dwarf, the role-playing game, was released in early 2003 as Samantha was battling a brutal cancer diagnosis. The AI screen and Extra Bits book followed a month later, helping put Deep Seven on the retail map. In an era of infinite splat books, the Red Dwarf line was completed with three volumes, used the XPG system, and included writing talent like Mark Bruno, John Sullivan, Eddie Webb, Andrew Kenrick, Lee Hammock, and Gavin Downing. The game was given an A rating on Sci-Fi.com and Pyramid Magazine called it Remarkable, a benchmark by which similar efforts should be judged. Samantha passed away in 2005, and Todd completely restructured the company to be more or less self-running, with third-party fulfillment. He stepped away from the gaming industry for a couple of years, returning in 2007 with the post-apocalypse Rads game, co-authored by Mark Bruno, J.D. Green, and Jason Sinclair. Todd remarried in 2009 and began to put more energy back into the company. Todd and Brother Gavin released a revamped second edition of Aeroflight in 2010, this time explicitly XPG, following the hardcover rulebook with several world resource books for the setting. That same year, Deep Seven's parent company, Despot Media, produced the music video for nerd rock band Kirby Crackle's song On and On, which Todd wrote and directed. In 2011, Despot teamed up with Studio B Media to produce the retro pulp comic Airship Daedalus. Deep Seven Press produced the trade paperback editions. In 2013, Deep Seven Press released All Aboard, Memoirs of the McDowell Sisters, Sweethearts of the Air, an autobiography of two female pioneers of records and radio. Despot Media released a vintage-style radio production of Airship Daedalus, starring Seattle film industry favorites. A completely new printed edition of Snake Oil was released in 2015 to stellar critical response. In a complete reversal of the original 1PG concept, Deep 7 Press released a hardcover edition of the 1PG Compendium in 2016, collecting all 17 1PG titles and their various supplements into a single bookshelf volume. It became a strong seller almost immediately. 2016 also saw the release of the Airship Daedalus Retro Pulp Adventure Game, followed by the Aegis Field Annual Supplement. The strongest seller for Deep 7 since Red Dwarf, Airship Daedalus would be bolstered by eight more radio episodes, a licensed novel by E.J. Blaine, and two more game supplements by the first half of 2017. Meanwhile, comic artist Brian Beardsley continued to produce pages to complete the original four-part story. With more supplements on the way for Aeroflight and Airship Daedalus, as well as other complete game settings, and even a new 1PG or two on the horizon, Deep 7 Press is continuing its mission, 18 years and counting, to produce easy-to-learn, entertaining, and reasonably priced interactive and narrative entertainment.